Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Root Beer here, looking at question number 18 on our Grade 7 Gauss paper from 2011. Three pumpkins are weighed two at a time in all possible ways. The weights of the pairs of pumpkins are 12 kilograms, 13 kilograms, and 15 kilograms. How much does the lightest pumpkin weigh? Okay, this is actually a fairly common question. You get it all the time in, in not just uh, the grade 7 contests or not just necessarily Waterloo contests, but this actually pops up a whole lot, uh, as you'll see in a moment. Let's give names to our pumpkins. Maybe A is the lightest, then B is the middle weight pumpkin, and C is the heaviest pumpkin. There are three pumpkins. Now, there's three ways that we can actually act we can list them from uh, smallest to largest, actually. Because uh, B is less than C, so A plus B should be less than A plus C. B is greater than A, so B plus C should be greater than A plus C. But we've got three different weights. It was 12 kilograms, 13 kilograms, and I think it was 15 kilograms. Let's just double check. Yep, 12, 13, 15. So I don't know what A is, but I know pumpkin A and pumpkin B weighed together weigh the least 12 kilograms. Okay, what we have here is uh, very nice. You, you don't just get it with uh, two. I mean, you can get it with, uh, I don't know, if you had four pumpkins and you were adding them three at a time, or, you know, five pumpkins and you add them two at a time. As long as all the possibilities are represented... Okay. You can actually do this general trick. Okay. If I want to solve for A, B, or C, nice way to do it. Add them up. Add all the equations up. So on the, the left-hand side, we'll get 12 plus 15, uh, 13, which is 25, plus 15 is 40. And over here, what have I got? Well, I've got two A's. I've got two B's to add up. And two C's. Right? And as long as every pumpkin is represented an equal number of times, you know, you get 2A, 2B, 2C, or in a different question on a different contest, you might get 3As, 3Bs, 3Cs, 3Ds. But there's a nice there's sort of symmetry to these equations and makes it really nice to add them all up. Because now if I divide by 2 on both sides, I know how much all the pumpkin weigh, all the pumpkins weigh. Together, if I put them on the scale, they'd weigh 20 kilograms. Now, how does this help? Well, I can solve for each pumpkin in turn. So suppose I want to solve for A, which I've said is the lightest pumpkin. We've got an equation for B and C. So let's just subtract that away. You'll notice over here on this side, we're left with A. And 20 minus 15 is 5. So 5 kilograms is going to be our answer. But you can see we can actually get all of them. So if I want B, just pick the equation that doesn't have B. And subtract. You'll be left with B on the one side, 7 on the other side. So B, the middle pumpkin, weighs 7 kilograms. And we can get the last pumpkin here really quickly. A plus B. Subtract that away. You'll be left with C on this side. And so C weighs 8 kilograms. And you can check. 7 plus 5 is 12. 7 plus 8 is 15. This all works out. And so even if you couldn't necessarily order your pumpkins and you definitely knew A had to be the lowest this way, which might be a hard thing for people to do, you can solve for every single pumpkin and then say, oh, okay, that's the smallest one. And there we go. And that gets us an answer of 5 kilograms, so that's going to be B. Well, there we go. That's question 18. Up next is going to be question number 19. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to, to like or subscribe or leave a comment if you ever did a question a different way. And I'll see you for question number 19 next time.